here we're being asked to complete the table. So we're given values for x, and what we're asked to do is substitute it into the equation and see what the answer is. We're going to do this on a calculator. Uh, first, let's substitute each of these values in for x. So I just rewrote that equation, but instead of x, I wrote that number. And we just want to put each of these into the calculator and see what they equal. So let's go to desmos.com and I'll show you what you see. So this is what you'll see when you click on desmos.com. And if you click graphing calculator, you'll be given a spot here to enter whatever you want to have it calculate. If you click in the bottom left corner, you can show the keypad. We're looking for the log button. I don't see it here. So if you go over to functions and go through the different pages, you'll see it's right here on the miscellaneous tab. We want the log button that has a base um, that we can fill in. So we're going to do this log with that little a there. And so now it's prompting us to put that number in. So let's put a two there for our base and now we're going to just put in parentheses here each of those x values so if x is one what is the answer zero backspace if x is two what is the answer one how about if x is four um, if you're doing a fraction just use division so one divided by two the answer is negative one one divided by four negative two. So just go through and enter each of these on the calculator and you'll see the answer.